Yeah, we're hoping he's going to be in this game. I can tell you that. I am I am hoping he's going to be in this game. And I assume he will be at some point in time eventually, possibly, hopefully. But yeah. So today we are going to be reacting to Marvel's Avengers Game Overview. And this is actually pretty cool because um, basically what I've gathered um, just from like what I've heard and the slight little bit that I saw... Um, this basically it's not even a trailer it's a straight up two minutes and 54 second video and it's some game designer person whatever involved in the game that is going to be talking about what exactly this game is which is huge because like we knew that it was all going to be like storyline based but we haven't heard too much about like what exactly this game is going to have mission wise or like they announced that they were going to do something with like weapons or different things that you can add to your hero but didn't really elaborate so i think this is going to answer some of those questions for us um so yeah we're just going to do a little bit of a reaction slash breakdown of things that i might notice and want to talk about so let's get right into this this is on marvel entertainment uh, Marvel's Entertainment YouTube channel, so go ahead and subscribe to them um, and check out this video for yourself. But yeah, let's get into this. Marvel's Avengers is a third person action adventure game featuring an all new original story where you play as your favorite Avengers. The story starts on A Day at the opening celebration of the Avengers West Coast headquarters in the reveal of the team's new Terrigen Crystal Reactor. Okay, we kind of know that. But after being blamed for a disastrous explosion that leaves San Francisco mm -hmm. in ruins, the Avengers are forced to disband due to public backlash and government pressure. Oh, so the government's what made them in their absence, disband. A new organization rises vowing to protect the world, Advanced Idea Mechanics, otherwise known as AIM. Okay. Five years later, the world is a very different place. In their pursuit of a safer future through science, AIM has replaced superhumans with their advanced synthoid AI. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of AI fighting. But under the surface, the signs of a conspiracy against heroes begins to unfold. With all superheroes outlawed, an Avengers fangirl from New Jersey named Kamala Khan Kamala embarks Khan. on a quest to prove her hero's innocence we and become who she was to destined that trailer. to be. Go check it out. Kamala plays an essential role as the catalyst to reassemble the team with her unique perspective and incredible powers. Mm -hmm. Only together can the Avengers overcome the dangers in this new world. You'll start by establishing a base of operations in a decommissioned a hello helicarrier, carrier. which gets upgraded throughout the story. Oh, okay. You can customize your heroes to play solo like or assemble online with your friends, defending oh. Earth from Ooh, the different threats. suits. Yes. Each of the heroes oh, has nice. tons of outfits inspired by over 80 years of Marvel history, as well as original new ones. We're going to pause it right there real quick. Did, hold on, I want to go back to this right here. I absolutely love this. So this is like straight up, this is just Iron Man's outfits. And look at how many slots there are for different outfits. And I'm assuming it's going to be like this for a majority of the characters. Which is just, um, wow, I love this so much. Just because like I am the type of person who loves customization in games. And this really allows you to have that, um, that ability. And I'm assuming with different types of outfits and stuff, you'll get different abilities and things like that along the way um, as well. Kind of like you did in the Spider-Man uh, video game that came out for PlayStation 4 last year. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this. This is a major win so far. Earth from ever escalating threats. And I love how it's Each not just for Iron has Man, tons it's for of everybody. Outfits, inspired by over the 80 Thor years of Marvel history in the Hulk, as well as original new ones. Okay. They didn't want to show any as caps. As you play, though. you'll earn and unlock gear. Okay. Equip different We're going to pause it right here real quick. I know that person's talking, but I just kind of wanted to get a look at this. So this is actually really cool because this is also kind of going towards your suits and stuff um, where you can add different things to your hero. Basically, as he was saying, like different equipment and stuff to put on them to um, basically upgrade their abilities. Um, as you can see up in the top right there, it shows melee damage, defense, um, heroic, whatever that is, and then ranged, obviously. So, I mean, the heroic must just be like a some type of finisher specialized for that hero. 
Um, but the melee and range, that makes sense, and then the defense makes sense. Um, so yeah, let's see. There's In their little menu at the top, there's objectives, skills, appearance, collections, and roster. So that'll be kind of interesting. Um, looks like you can level up your hero. Um, there's a power level, and then also you uh, level up like individually, I'm assuming, um, just with that character. So like they have this Iron Man to level 5. Um, something that I'm not really liking up in the top right over there, I see that there's some different types of currencies in the game. You guys said that there was not going to be any types of DLC pay-to-win scenarios, so I'm going to hope that you're staying true to that. And whatever that is, is either just currency that you earn in the game itself and you can't buy. Or if it's stuff that you can buy, I'm hoping it's just cosmetic appearances. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming this like 100, um, what's it called? 100 Avengers credits, whatever you want to call that. Let's just pray that it's just for cosmetics. Okay. Because I, I don't want no pay to win scenarios. And even the makers of the game in their first initial release up at e3 said that they were um that they they wanted to avoid pay to win scenarios so let's hope that they stick to that um let's see looks like different equipment give you different powers um all right and you can unlock different perks and stuff as you can see down in the bottom there's a bunch of different materials so i'm assuming that throughout the games and missions you unlock materials which you can then use to buy or make different gear and equipment Okay, let's get back to this. Gear pieces to customize your play style and become even more powerful. Okay. Power up gear by unlocking perks, which will change the way you play the game. Yep. Unlock skills and abilities as you earn experience and build your heroes to fit your play style. Okay. Using the so war team, map. you can launch into two different Reading types missions. of missions. Hero missions are the single player campaign experiences showcasing specific heroes. Okay. And war zone missions, which are played solo or online. Online. A total of four players. All missions drive the narrative forward, and all of your heroes' progress is shared across the entire. Yes. Game. That is awesome, right there. So instead of having like most games will have, where you go ahead and take like just a story mode and that all stays together, and then just a multiplayer and that stays together, they're saying right here basically that you can go ahead and do the solo missions by yourself and rank up your characters. But if you want to also do the co-op online stuff with your friends and stuff like that, it's going to be the same leveling for the same characters. So you don't have to like restart or make new characters. It's just all going to be combined to one, which I really like that because there's going to be numerous times where I'm on here playing and I want to play with friends and stuff. But then there's also going to be times where I have to play solo. And it's nice that they can all just combine and I don't have to do extra work towards both like you would in most games so like that's kind of the reason why i don't really touch games that are like like with call of duty for example i only play multiplayer i never touch a story mode and i know that the story mode's good and people are going to hate me for that but i care about leveling stuff up in the multiplayer and since the single player has like nothing to do with that it's just kind of pointless for me to play it in my opinion um so I'm glad that they're going to make this um, kind of entertain both of those ideas. That is a awesome thing. Okay, so here's some gameplay. Okay, I like the moves. There's the Hulk with some awesome fighting skills. Reassemble the Avengers and rebuild the team. She to be waits. Earth's mightiest heroes once again. Avengers, May fifteenth, twenty twenty. Oh boy, pre-order for beta access. So you can pre-order the game now. Um, I am kind of just waiting for them to release um, one of the special editions and stuff. As soon as they announce that, I'm going ahead and I'm going to get it right away. I want to get the best version of the game possible because I support this, okay? And a lot of people have been skeptical out there about this game, but I personally think it's going to be amazing. You just have to remember one thing. This isn't tied into the movies, and it, it, it's somewhat tied to, like, comics, obviously, but, like, these are new interpretations of these characters. So just because that, like this Captain America doesn't look like Chris Evans isn't the end of the world. So I think that this game's going to be really good in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting it when it comes out. But one thing that I do want to keep in mind for you guys um, is that when this game does come out, I will for sure 100% making I'll be making content on it. 
Um, I'm going to continue to make these trailer reactions, whatever, um, until the game comes out and stuff. So I hope that you guys can go ahead and subscribe and follow my journey and uh, keep updated with me with those. Um, and so, yeah, the last thing that I'll say is I did just recently create a Twitch account that I've been streaming on recently. Um, I've been playing different games like Minecraft. Planet Zoo, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm going to be playing a bunch of different games. So if you guys want to go ahead and uh, go follow me on there, um, I will leave a link in the description to that. And I will for sure 1000% be streaming this game on Twitch as soon as it comes out. And then from that, I will take those um, Twitch clips and whatnot, and I will be making videos on YouTube about it. But yeah, I hope you do enjoy. I will be making more reactions of this game, other games, maybe some movie trailers, and other things in the future. So please do subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Peace.